like us don't have it. Yeah, or we might have money, but that's money that's made through hard work. It's the big boys, it's the banks, yeah, and the financial institutions and the insurance companies. They've got the money, yeah? They've got lots of money, and they're just finding ways to take it from you. Yeah, unfortunately. That's just the way the world, that's just the way the world works, yeah? And I only say this as I'm getting older, yeah? I'm 39 now, I'm, I'm middle life, I'm mid-aged, you know? I'm getting older, I'm looking at things differently now. Mm. Yeah, because I have a son. I have a question. Uh, yes. What's the difference if you live in the U.S.? What's the difference if yeah. I live in the U.S.? Because you want to live in the U.S. Well, that was the plan. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, it's a bit more freer. Uh, the economy, okay, screw the economy. The economy is kind of falling apart right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking 15 years ago. Yeah. It was still okay. You could still buy a home, have a car. You know, have a backyard for your kids to play in. They can run around on the street. You don't get that in Hong Kong. Yeah? And I'm not saying it's Hong Kong's fault, but it's just, I don't understand the concept. Yeah? And you try to get new concepts in, it doesn't make any sense. Where do you take your kids? I remember my parents, they said, look, after school, do whatever you want. Just come home at 6 o'clock. <laughs> yeah? They said, you can do whatever you want. Whatever activities you want to do, go do it. So as I said, fine, I'll go play football. So every day after school, I'm going to play football. But they said, you come home yourself. Make your way home yourself. Yeah. <coughs> On the weekends, I used to go where we used to live. We used to just go up, to the, <coughs> up into the wilderness just to pick trees, pick flowers, pick whatever. Where do kids do that nowadays? Yeah. It's a different, yeah, it's gadgets. Yeah, it's gadgets. Yeah. What do you learn from gadgets? Nothing. Yeah? Nothing. Nothing that you learn. So America... It's a bit freer, yeah, and you can have, uh, I'm not saying things there are distances, Hong Kong, you can't beat the distance, okay, I give that hands down, I'll give that to Hong Kong. To get from A to B, you can be somewhere in less than 30 <coughs> minutes. Anywhere else in the world you go, it'll take you an hour to get from A to B, yeah. With the transport system, I get home door to door, 37 minutes. I cannot beat that anywhere else in the world. I used to drive an hour to work when I used to live in America. Mm. Hour home, hour work, stuck in traffic. Yeah, that's the lifestyle. Yeah. So, again, everybody's got their own things. And the cost of living in Hong Kong is just way too expensive. Yeah. I mean, my friends in the UK, they live in North London, not in Central London. Central London is still very expensive. They're just north of London near Wembley Stadium. Yeah. And they're buying flats. Nice places, two story, large, uh, you know backyard and everything mm -hmm. for the price I paid for my flat in Hong Kong. And I get what? <laughs> <laughs> I get a shoebox. Box. Yeah, it's a box. It's just a shoebox. That's <laughs> all I get. It's a shoebox that's split into, you know, the bedroom and the living room and everything. Yeah? It's different from Canada, right? Yeah. You know? Even where uh, uh, Cordy is from, you know? Living in Canada. Custom. You know what it's like. Okay, so you're still very young. Do you still go back? Do you, does your family have a home there? I have relatives. You have relatives there, so you know what it's like to have space. They often send you pictures. Yeah, so you know what it's like to have space. In Hong Kong, we're just yeah. limited to boxes, unfortunately. But that's how Hong Kong survives. Okay, we, s we still have a lot of time, yeah. Okay. So, all right, we got 15 minutes. Uh, I have to go through the book stuff with you. I got to tell you what we're going to do, all right? I'll tell you what you're going to do with the improv speeches for next week, okay? So, there's no assessments, uh, no formal assessments in this class. Good. Okay? Yeah. Which is good news for you guys, okay? So, there's nothing to be stressed out about because the assessments in the previous two um, courses in your diploma and uh, advanced cert, they were pretty pretty hectic. Yeah, so there's no assessments, so that's a good thing. Okay, all right, go to your books for a second. Let me just uh, explain something to you guys and how I do things, and I'll tell you what you're gonna do for homework, and then um, I'll tell you how I do things in class, and then we'll call it a day, okay? All right, if you go to page, uh, there's no page number, but just go to the content map. 
Okay? Okay. The way this is set up, the way the book is set up, it's divided into stuff that's like based on uh, individual stuff. Yeah? Then pair stuff, then group stuff. Mm. Okay? But the topics are all different. Okay? So what I'm going to try to do, since we only have about, we have what, 20 hours, 20 lessons? 20 yeah, 20 lessons excluding tonight, so say 19. 19, I could probably get through a uh, majority of this. I could probably get through maybe eight units, okay? I can mix and match, okay? I can mix and match. I can go with my own stuff. I can bring in my own. Yeah. I'm not going to strictly follow the book per se, you know, in, in going through each unit mm -hmm. and we do every little activity in there. I'm not going to do that, mm -hmm. okay? I'm going to take the themes from, from the units, right, and I'll build around the themes. That's why I had you guys fill out the, 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 um, your preferences. What do you like to do? Yeah, and based on your preferences, I'll go home and read these. Mm -hmm. Based on what you like, I'll try to incorporate everybody's things over the next 19 lessons, okay? But I'm not going to go strictly, you know, going through every, I, every I aspect. Sorry? I come to here to take a class. I wish to speak like a lady, lady uh, No, you'll get plenty of chances. Don't worry about yeah. that. Yeah? You'll get plenty of time to, to, to do that. That's, uh, uh, again, I guess the majority of you, that's your main objective is to speak more and it really hone your skill sets on, on trying to do. Okay? So that's how I normally do things. So uh, I know some of, you, some of you might like the book stuff, yeah? But I'm telling you now, I'm going to go with what I think is most appropriate for you guys. I had a chance, you guys did some good presentations today. I had a chance to listen to you and understand where you're making your mistakes. Some of you guys are, are good, you're fluent. Some of you are still stuck on like simple sentences and things like that. I can already sense it by you doing it for a few minutes. Okay, so I need to work on different aspects of you guys getting, that's why I said get away from reading. Yeah, most of you tried not to read, which is good. Okay, but because you're not able to read the way it's coming out, it's coming out very slowly. It's like, he is this, he is that, she is this. I want you guys to kind of speed it up. Yeah? So we work on that. Okay? So I take the themes from the lessons. I'll do the listening parts with you because the listening parts are, uh, they're almost as fast as I speak. Okay? This is not my normal rate. <laughs> this is already reduced. <laughs> so already reduced? This is reduced. Uh, really? Yes. yes. <laughs> when I did the foundation course a few years ago, I had to go even lower. Mm. Yeah, because foundation, they couldn't, they couldn't catch up. They understood maybe 20% of what I said. So it was like really like I had to speak very, very slowly. <laughs> yeah. So for you guys, how much are you understanding of what I'm saying? 60? 90? Okay, if you're up at about 70, then you're doing good. If you want me to speed up, I can speed up. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> Again, if you want me to, yeah, just let me know, and I can, I can speed up. Yeah, and I can talk at a faster rate to see if you understand. If it's too fast, just tell me to, to slow down a bit. But if you're getting about 70%, that's already pretty good. Okay? So uh, if you can increase it more, then increase it more. Okay? So I take the themes, all right? So majority of the time you do speaking activities in class. I do the listenings from the book, okay? I'll extract them from them uh, and get you guys to do the listenings uh, from the book, okay? So uh, very minimal, unless you really want me to give you homework. <laughs> the only thing I ask you to write, uh, I'll give you, you have the, you have the, um, okay, this is what you're going to do. Okay, so how I do things, yeah, I don't lecture you guys, okay? I do the same things we do, similar to today. I get you guys in pairs. We've got 14 people in the class. It's a small class, so if everybody comes to class, we have good numbers, we're good to go, okay? So a lot of work in pairs, primarily in pairs and groups, okay, because of the numbers, but more so in pairs because you're 14. Yeah, it's easy to pair you guys up, okay? But I give you plenty of chance to practice, yeah, plenty of chance to do it in front of the class. Maybe not every week, but a couple times throughout the next 20 weeks. 
we'll try to get you up here and speaking. Okay? So your first task for next week. All right? This is your homework assignment. All right? Uh, pick a number from 1 to 24. Let's go. Uh, 24. 24. Go. Pick a number. Uh, 26. No, 1 to 24. <laughs> 1 to uh, 23. 23. Go. Pick a number. 1 to 24. 12. 12. That's your topic. Terry. Uh, um, 18. 18. There's your topic. 13. 13. 13. 13. You're looking at the topic. Five. Five. Go. <laughs> okay, you go, you go number five. I go number six. Okay, five, six, go. Eight. Thirteen, you looked at the topics already. Eleven, Eleven go. Seven, go. Fifteen. Any numbers left? Ten. Okay, there's your topic. Whatever your number is, that's your topic for next week. All right? Let's go four minutes. Yes. Put it together. Yeah? Put it together. Put your little presentation together. Okay? Four minutes next week. But you're not doing it in front. You're just doing it with groups or partners. Yeah? We're doing groups or partners. Okay? That's your first task for next lesson. Okay? So if you don't like your topic, then choose another one. If you don't <laughs> like if you don't like your topic. But I prefer just you to go with the number that you have. So even if it's a difficult topic for you, you can try to talk about it. But, okay? So that's the way I do things in class. Okay? I've been doing this long enough. I, I know. Just follow what I do. I don't do things in a traditional way. Okay? I make you guys think about things. I make you guys do things in different ways. So. Be expected to do the unexpected in class. <laughs> okay? That's the only way I can challenge you. Yeah? But I'm challenging you, challenge you, challenging you for your linguistic ability. Okay? Your ability to produce language. Okay? If you make mistakes, that's not important. Yeah? You can make a hundred mistakes. I don't care. But I want you guys to step it up. Okay? If you want to go to the next level. All right? So two places you can go. Two websites you can go to, good places. BBC. No, nope. not BBC. <laughs> uh, if you have a smartphone or you have an iPhone, go to um, Beyond Pod. Beyond Pod. Two places, all right? called Beyond Pod. Yeah, they're podcasts. Yeah? And the other one is the TED Talks. Yeah. Both have apps. If you have smartphones and things like that, you can go to the websites. Uh, you can download this stuff. Beyond Pod is basically any podcast you want. Yeah? For free. Sports, fashion, marketing, whatever you're interested in. Okay? But uh, they're, they're, they're quite high level, okay? So if you want to improve your listening skills and you want to try to understand uh, rates of speech that are higher, then I suggest you go to podcasts, mm -hmm. okay? If you want to go further than that, then go to TED Talks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, TED Talks, they get people talking about all sorts of things. People who do innovation, people who do startup companies, they do speeches, they do presentations. You can kind of listen, don't have to follow, don't have to watch it, just listen. Yeah. Listen to what they're trying to say. Uh, if you want more fast paced, advanced level, very high level. Yeah. Stuff that lower people at maybe foundation will, they might understand a bit, but not a lot. So, but since you're saying you can understand me 70, 80%, then if you listen to those, you're probably going to get about the same, 70 to 80%. But if you want to increase more, then those are two good places to go. I can give you some more next week. Uh, I'll, I'll put a list together of other places to go. BBC as well. Yeah. Uh, BBC is always useful. They have the podcasts as well. Uh, that's always a good place to, to go if you want to do accent. Okay? Yeah. All right. Any questions, guys? All right. If you finished your profiles, can I have the profiles?